O. <laughs> Wait, am I am I seeing this? Two dollars. Oh my goodness, you guys! I just can't even believe my eyes right now. One thousand seven hundred and sixty-seven dollars. I'm gonna tell you right now. I bet every single one of you. Hey, bolo buddies. Thanks for watching. All right. In this video, we are going to talk about big money bolos. These items were shared in my bolo buddies Facebook group that just hit a hundred thousand followers, members, members. <laughs> <laughs> absolutely crazy thank you to everybody who is a member and thank you to all that shared in this post share your best november bolo so i'm going to share with you big money items that people found i'm going to tell you where they got it what they paid for it and what it sold for um there is going to be a new format i posted this video definitely go and check it out i'll link it down below and this will tell you how to share in the future i think this is going to be beneficial to everybody that shares because you're going to get to share a sold link in the Facebook group, which people can directly get to your store that way. And also anybody can get a shout out as long as they put in their post that they, um, what their eBay store or whatever store it is they're sharing platform store name is. If you put it in the write-up, I will read it. So um, this is going to be beneficial to everyone. So let's start with the first bolo. It says, nothing to see here, just a package of Bic ballpoint pens. Well, the fact that they were dated 1994 and were still sealed made me think they might have some value. I picked them up at an estate sale and probably only paid a quarter. Took about two weeks to sell and got $19.95 free shipping for a super easy list and package job. That's my kind of bread and butter. So this is more of a just what unexpected a bolo. Now, is it big money? No, this is a bread and butter bolo, but who who else would have picked this item up? Let me know if you would have picked it up down in the comments. I picked this box of recipe cards up at a retirement community garage sale for $2. It's items like this that make me love reselling. Oh, <gasps> wait, am I, am I seeing this? $2. Lucille's Treasure Chest of Fine Foods, Lucille Smith Recipes, 1972 Recipe Cards. Oh my goodness, you guys, I just can't even believe my eyes right now. $1,767. I'm going to tell you right now, I bet every single one of you is never going to walk past recipe cards again. I mean, I knew some of them could be a bolo, but almost two thousand dollars what what okay so you're probably a little surprised by my reaction like have you not looked over this did you not know this was here no i don't look at these until i do this video right here right now and i am like in shock with you all wow <laughs> whoa <laughs> One of the most surprising yet, I bought several lots of encyclopedias and magazines at an online auction. I was really regretting it when I got there and the bookshelves were downstairs and I had to haul everything upstairs to the car. There was one magazine that was from the 60s, 114 magazines. There were no comps, so I just put it, put it for 200 plus shipping. Within a month or two, it sold for asking. I have about 75 cents into the lot. South Carolina Wildlife Vintage Magazine lot spanning 1967 to tw uh, 2021 and then it says 114 issues there it is yes lotting up magazines can definitely be um a bolo vintage double d ranch wear jacket that technically sold the evening of october 31st found at my local thrift store that sells almost all clothes for a dollar on weekends took an offer of 73 plus shipping. This brand has some really good comps. This one sat for a few months, but it was a very specific style. And this is what it looks like. So it's a double D ranch wear women's large rayon jacket, metal studs, pleats, Texas vintage. This is an October bolo, Blink 182 2023 World Tour plush from the Goodwill for $1.99 and sold it for $50. <laughs> Wow, I didn't know they did plush. That's interesting. Got this from the Salvation Army Thrift, paid $5.99 and listed for $400. Took a best offer. 
after multiple ones had been received for 310 sold in 24 hours. It's an L.L. Bean vintage 80s boat tote. Oh, I'm sorry, boat and tote bag. <laughs> and this is what it looks like. Paid $8.56 at the Goodwill and sold within three weeks for $89.99 plus 18 shipping. The left foot was half missing, broken, but still sold. The artist is dead and going back to hometown, the artist was in Smithfield. It sold for asking price. So it's a Frank Creech Santa Claus, 12-inch Santa signed. So the foot was broken or missing, half missing. Still sold. Purchased at the Goodwill bins, paid about $2 and sold in only a few hours for full asking price of $74.99. It is a vintage new old stock 1950s Simtex Yuletide Christmas Red Ribbons Tablecloth. And this is what it looks like. Paid around $8 at the Goodwill bins, sold for full asking price in two days. It is a Vera Bradley Nantucket Blue Pattern Rolling Carry-On Duffel Bag. And this is what it looks like. And that one sold on Mercari. If you're not on Mercari, I do have a link down below. If you join with that link, you'll get $10 to shop and another $20 to shop when you sell $100 worth of stuff, which is pretty easy to do. Um, $100, you know, I mean, we're resellers, right? You list a whole bunch, things sell, especially when you're new on a platform. Um, I love Mercari, so definitely check it out. Also have a Posh link down below. Both are referral links, so I get money to shop also when um, you use those. So thank you for using any referral links that are in the description. It doesn't cost you anything, and it does help me keep this channel going, so I appreciate it very much. Paid $2 to fill a bag, found this Coogee style sweater. Uh, sold within a couple weeks, had it listed at $130, took best offer of $100, Poshmark. And that is, um, if you guys know Kuji or Kugi, I don't know how to say it, but the Kugi Kuji sweaters are big money. But even the ones that kind of look similar can sell for a lot of money also. This was a fun one. I got these two and a half Santa mugs for 50 cents each at a rummage sale. The red paint had hardly peeled off. Oh, no, I'm sorry, had really peeled off. There were no markings or tags on them. I decided to start the auction at 77, hoping these were the good ones. They sold for $127.55. I guess they were. And this is what they look like. Got it at a thrift store for a dollar. It is a Bath and Body Works suede men's collection ultra shea body cream lotion. Rare. $35.46. And I'm guessing this is new old stock. I found this unique piece at Value Village for about $6 a couple months ago. I thought it was weird and interesting. I was the one who had the ventriloquist doll. I listed it high because of comps at 80 and I took a best offer of 70 plus shipping, which is the highest to date. My husband helps me pack the more fragile items with uh, cut pool noodles, bubble wrap and box in the box method. I love finding and selling the breakables. <laughs> If I had a husband that would pack the breakables, I would love selling breakables also. <laughs> I hate shipping breakables. Yuck, yuck, yuck. This pretty little piece sold just in time for the upcoming holidays. Super fun find and glad it went to a good home. Vintage asparagus um, shaped server, possibly um, something pottery, Majol majolica. Uh, this sold on Mercari. Now, I know on eBay, you don't want to say, um, oh, what was the other one? Like Kugi or Kuji style. You don't want to put that if it's not the brand. I would say this is kind of a similar situation. I don't know if Mercari is more lenient about this, but putting possibly and implying that it is something that it might not be, do not do that on eBay for sure. I don't recommend that you do it at all. Um, but I know people do it and I don't know if Mercari, like I said, I just wouldn't do it to be safe because somebody could report it or the company could um, mark you as selling counterfeits and stuff like that. There's just nothing good that can come out of it, but definitely a nice bolo and probably would have sold even without that in the title because it's just a cool asparagus shaped pottery. Got a set for $5. Oh, no, I'm sorry. Got a set of five. Whoa. Wait, 
got a set of five. Okay, I see what's, ah, I was like, wait, you didn't even make money. I just misread it. Got a set of five for 250 at an estate sale. I could have waited till half off day as it seems I'm the only one who looks these things up. Sold one to a buyer and then the other four to another a week or two later. Took about a month and a half to sell for a $500 profit before fees. They are Motorola two-way radios and this is what they look like. These Easton Press books are great sellers. I've sold three different volumes over the past two months. They each sold for over 30. This was the latest one. I got these books at a box of vintage books and magazines on Facebook Marketplace for 25 total. The Republic Plato 1980 Easton Press Collector's Edition Genuine Leather. And... So sold three different volumes. So I don't know if this is just for one book. Huh. Looks like one book. So I don't know how many books he got for 25. Three different volumes. Hmm. So is that just three books? Or is like the is it a set of volumes that he got and he's selling them individually? I don't know. If you're listening or watching, let us know in the comments. Paid $2.31 at a garage sale and sold for 50 in two hours. Seven Depenchi Mod Cassette Tapes lot with bonus sticker. I don't know what that is. Is that a band? Maybe? And yeah, nice profit. I don't, I don't know. I've never heard of that band. Bought this one at the Denver, Colorado Goodwill bins. Probably cost me around three. Sold for full asking price. It is a really cute set. It's a Boyd's Bear plush nativity wise men donkey four piece set. Oh, it's in the box. Check it out. $100. Patricia Nash distressed medallion Camilla crossbody bag. Paid $5.25 at the Goodwill. Sold for full asking price of $158, and this sold on Poshmark. Paid $1.50 on half off day. It is a vintage tequila lay .925 empty bottle dragon design silver colored metal stopper, and it sold for $68. So it's an empty uh, liquor bottle. I don't know what the .925 is. Maybe that's the size of the decanter. Hmm. It's kind of confusing because 925 is silver. So I'm, I think it's probably, I don't know. Technically, I sold it at the end of October, but don't hold that against me. Folkmanis Jumbo Size Tiger Puppet. Paid seven at a yard sale and sold for a best offer of $140. That is awesome. I saw this frame at my local St. Vincent de Paul. It was only $3 and had the original photo inside. Because it was made in Italy, I decided to look it up. I look up anything that says made in Italy. This brand retails for a lot and I didn't see any like mine listed. I took a chance. I listed at 65 and accepted a best offer of 50 in less than six weeks. Buyer paid shipping. Um, Cavallini Papers and Company Florentine Frame Antico Gold eight by 10, new without tags, Italy. And this is what it looks like. This Jerry, oh my goodness, this is the cutest thing ever. <laughs> um, okay. okay, so this uh, Jerry Elsner, real rabbit for kittens, sold on October 31st. I got it for a quarter on the last day of a church garage sale in my hometown. Everything was 75% off. It was way down deep at the bottom of a box of plush. I listed for $149 and was happy to accept an offer of $100. It took about six weeks to sell. Buyer paid $615 shipping and got positive feedback. It says glass eyes, pink glasses, and rabbit fur. Um, Chisholm, C-H-I-S-M, ice cream, 1943 wall calendar. Sold last week of October. Purchased for $4 at a local online auction, left it in my money pile for too long, found it again, listed it, and sold it for a best offer of $65. There were no comps, so may have underpriced it, but was a quick flip. Thanks for all you do. Thank you for sharing. I appreciate it. And this is what it looks like. Okay, October Bolo. Well, this is a November post. That's probably why she put it. 
Oh my, we got, we got a book. We have a book here. Let's see what it says. It's always kind of interesting when somebody writes a lot that, hmm, wonder if there's an interesting story behind it. I found these new old stock Ray Dunn measuring cups at a yard sale right near my home. I had a long, tiring day thrifting and going to yard sales. I almost didn't stop. It looked very small. I, ha I was about to leave as most items were priced very high and the seller was one of those sellers who hovers over you as you look. I didn't feel comfortable looking anything up as she was watching me like a hawk. I had to go with my gut on this one. When I picked up this, this set of Bolo measuring cups, they felt heavy and good quality. I had a good feeling about them and I wasn't deterred by the Home Goods red clearance tag with a $7 price tag. I didn't even realize they were Ray Dunn initially. For some reason, this was the one item the lady didn't seem to care about. She only wanted them, wanted $2 for them. Probably because she saw the clearance tag was seven and felt like $2 was fair. <laughs> um, she said, I was so excited when I got home and saw the comps. I tried selling the cups, buy it now for 740, slightly below the only other listing I could find for the same measuring cups. The second time I put on best offer and a lower price with no luck. Then I decided to draw people in by putting it on auction at a starting price of $275. The auction was heated and ended at $460 and the buyer paid shipping. Oh my goodness, you guys. This was at Home Goods, which is basically TJ Maxx. I think they're like sister companies. Um... I could be wrong, but I'm almost certain. I think I could have gotten a higher price if I was more patient. A fellow Bolo Buddies member commented that this pattern was a limited pattern that was sold at Home Goods, Marshalls, and TJ Maxx in 2019, and that is why it sold for so much. So if you see Ray Dunn with a clearance sticker for one of these stores, you may want to look it up. And if you have more patience than me, you may make more money than I did. <laughs> <laughs> wow, that's awesome. Check it out. $460. It makes you want to like buy it all up and just kind of hoard it in a tote and wait like five years, right? Sold this Filson bag within a day of listing on eBay and countered for $240. I had lots of interest on Posh but lower offers, so I listed on eBay, paid $1049 at Goodwill this week, one of my best flips. It is a Filson original leather trimmed rugged twill briefcase, dark blue, made in the USA. And this is what it looks like. All right, we're going to do one more here. Savannah Bananas merch is super hot. My daughter gets these jerseys for free from a promotional game giveaway in the summer. Hmm. Savannah Bananas. Uh, looks like one sold for $78 and the other sold for $69.99. I have no idea, but... Savannah Bananas merch. All right, you guys. Um, so this is just video one of this month. So definitely stay tuned for more and check out the video that explains the new share post. And it is posted now in the Facebook group, share your best December sold bolo. So go over and share and I will feature it in a video just like this. Thank you all so much for being here. Thank you for watching. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share. Thanks for watching.